Hi everybody, this is the Green Fog here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be playing Boone's TD Battles, and if you notice that my commentary is not exactly in sync with my video, that is because I'm actually commentating on this video after I have actually recorded it. So as you can see, I'm playing in the Yellow Stadium Battle Arena, and we got that map. That's one of my favorite maps, so I'm going to choose the Dart Monkey the balloon chipper and the apprentice i have changed up my strategy a little bit since last time instead of the dartling gun i'm going to use the apprentice because number one the apprentice is a lot cheaper to get 2-2 than the dartling gun and number two the dartling gun is really annoying because when you tap on stuff it always just makes everything makes the dartling gun aim in the direction that you don't really want it to go so as you can see i'm getting triple darts here i'm going to get the long range darts and enhanced eyesight right now, now that I have enough money to do it. As you can see, the person on the other side got a ninja monkey, which is really weird because they haven't even upgraded it yet, and they're already getting an apprentice. You don't need to pop leads until round 10. I'm not sure what you're doing. You should probably upgrade that ninja. So I'm just going to keep playing. The strategy that I'm using now is actually a little bit different from what I used to do on the previous video, as I already said, but it's actually similar a lot too, because in the other video, I started off with a dart monkey that I got triple darts on, so I got 2-3, and that's the same thing I'm doing now, and at the end, I'm also going to get a 3-2 a two, a balloon chipper, just like I did before. So right now, I'm getting a apprentice I'm going to get it 2-2. I need to save up some money to get the lightning bolt. And I'm just about to get it. The other guy's fending off his balloons pretty well. I'm just turning my volume up. <coughs> the other guy's fending off his balloons pretty well. He got lightning bolt on his apprentice. He upgraded his ninja a little bit. And just turning the volume all the way up. <laughs> so, he's doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Balloons aren't even getting to the apprentice. I don't send eco until about like round somewhere between like 10 and 13 when the pinks unlock and it's basically as soon as I notice that it's been round 10 <laughs> I start to send pinks and to get my eco up to 300 which isn't really a huge difference but I'm not trying to go late game here because people that are in the battle arenas do not try to go late game they just don't because they want to win they want to win the medallions so what I'm doing here is this is a strategy that I use to try to beat the other person. I'm trying to get all these defenses up, which are good enough defenses to actually d defend off the balloons. And then I'm going to send this guy a bunch of MOABs and use my balloon boost, and he's going to lose, hopefully. Because I already know what happened, but I'm not going to give it away. So, <clears throat> if we keep going here, we're getting some regrow yellows, but that's just from the game. That's something that it always does. Now we're on round 10. I actually noticed very quickly, which is not like me. I always take forever. <laughs> so now that I'm round, on round 10, I'm just sending him some pinks. I'm not trying to beat him. I'm just trying to bring up my eco to 300. And as you can see there, now it's up to 303. So I'm going to stop sending eco. I'm going to start saving up for the dual layer blades, which basically pops two layers off the balloons instead of one. And a and a vital part of my strategy is putting a triple dart monkey at the end. Because those defenses aren't quite enough to survive the later rounds, especially if this guy starts to send eco, which he's not. But if he did, then it's definitely not enough. So I always put that guy on the end to get any balloons that end up getting through. Because the, as I said, the apprentice isn't as costly as the dartling gun. So it doesn't really do as good of a job. So we put that guy just to be safe. There we go. Now we got the dual layer blades. Now all we have to do is sit here. And all we have to do is just wait until we get to round 20 and send a bunch of MOABs. Because on round 18, you can send MOABs. But on round 18, when you send the MOABs, they're actually spaced out. Which doesn't really help. If you can defeat one MOAB, then you can defeat a million if they're all spaced out. So what I need to do is I need to wait till round 20 where... I can send them all at the same time, and that's where I'm going to be able to defeat him. So if we keep going, this is probably the farthest the balloons have ever gotten. My triple dart monkey is going to work down there. 
All the balloons are gone. That was not too bad. We're on round 17, really close to being able to send. As you can see, this guy's sending me, I think, some eco because I saw my apprentice firing over to the left, shooting his lightning bolt out, getting a bunch of camos, but that's no trouble because we have a lightning bolt apprentice and a triple dart, dart monkey. And now we're just getting some more balloons coming in. It's round 18. Round 18 is sometimes you need to use a boost. Hopefully not, but sometimes you do because with these, you get the zebras and the rainbows, sometimes things get ugly. And then the pinks too. So this triple dart monkey is going to work. We didn't need to use a boost there. I love this track. It's my favorite track in Boons TD Battles. It's a really good track. So if we keep going here, <coughs> we have some whites coming out. It's round 19. It's the round before I send my MOABs. It looks like I'm going to have enough to definitely send three. And if I just get a tiny bit more money, I can actually send four MOABs. And you can see that that guy has two ninjas, he has a lightning bolt apprentice, he has a sub, and he actually has a bionic boomer down there. Here comes round 20, sending all the MOABs. He's putting down another, he's putting down another, um, another, um, boomerang monkey. And the really weird thing is, watch, look at this. He boosts, he survives. Look at this, they're gone. Now the problem is, I have $1,218, but I have zero eco. So what I was trying to do was I was seeing if maybe it was possible that I could come back, but really it's not. I'm going to get my eco to like up 50, and then as you can see, all these law boons are going by, and I think this might be where I lose because round 20 and 21 are both pretty hard rounds. Some boons are, a lot of boons are leaking. I'm really surprised that he defeated those MOABs, but one of the main reasons that he probably did and I'm boosting right here, is because I've, as as long as I've been playing Boons TD Battles, I've always been making the same mistake. I thought that you had to use the Boon Boost while the Boons were out. You actually have to use the Boon Boost before the Boons go on the other side. So if I had used the Boon Boost, I actually might have gotten some, bo some Boons to go through because the MOABs would have gone much faster. But I didn't know how to use it. Tons of ceramics. Don't have a really good chance of surviving here. Triple Dart Monkey going to work, but not with those ceramics, and there we go. I'm down. So the first game lost. That's disappointing. But we have a second game. The second game, I'm actually going to play Assault Mode, because in Battle of Ada, everybody just wants to win. But in Assault Mode, if someone sees you trying to go late game, they're probably also trying to... They're probably also going to try to go late game with you. So I'm just going to hop into Quick Play, play an assault game. My strategy, I've changed a lot because um, when I used to use banana farms in late game, everybody would think I was trying to sell them and then rush them, which is not the truth. So what I'm seeing here is I don't like this map. But what I want to see is, is, is I want to see if this guy can skip it so I don't have to pay energy. But guess what? He locked it in. So here we go. And this is another ugly map. And again, I'm going to see if this guy's going to try to skip it. And let's see, does he skip the map? Let's see, down to f about 15 seconds now. And I skipped it because he just didn't. And now we got the railroad tracks. This is an absolutely great map. So what we're doing now is we're going to be choosing some different towers than what I did last time. We're using the ninja, the apprentice, and the sub but the only problem is we don't have a sub because there's no water so i was getting i was thinking and i was like oh i shouldn't have skipped that ice thing map because like as bad as that map is at least it has water so i chose the apprentice i mean the apprentice the engineer instead because the engineer has a really powerful upgrade the bloom the bloom the balloon trap which not only traps the balloons and does a really good job of it, but it also gets you a ton of money when you do it. So it's a great upgrade. So here we go. Putting down my ninja. I'm going to get it 3-2. And then this guy is also putting down a ninja, but I'm not sure what he's doing. He's just sitting there, and he's not even upgrading it. I'm not sure why. So what I do is I send him some reds to try to say, hey, you got to upgrade this guy. If you're trying to save up for something big, guess what? Don't You can't because I'm just going to send you a bunch of reds and you're going to lose lives. So here we go. I'm going to stop sending him reds in a second because the only reason, real reason I was doing it was, just, was to 
actually make him upgrade and also got my eco up but not too much because it's just reds so now i'm gonna upgrade this guy to three two i'm just waiting for a little bit of money it should take another like 10 seconds here we go six more seconds and then and then we will be able to do the double shot here there we go and i believe what i'm going to do next is i think i'm gonna put down an apprentice but i could be wrong it could be an engineer let's see what i'm going to do i don't exactly remember what i was going to do here Let's see. I'm curious what I'm going to do. This guy hasn't been sending any eco, which is pretty curious. Made me think, well, maybe this guy might rush me. But I was hoping that wouldn't be the truth. I'm putting down an apprentice, and then I'm changing my mind, and then I'm putting it down again. I was like, should I put down the apprentice? No. Okay, fine, I will. <laughs> so I put down the apprentice. Get it 1-2, just because I like to get it 2-2, two, two, but it just takes a lot of time to get the money so i got the one two while i can now i'm just gonna save up for the two two if i don't send any eco right now that's gonna be surprising because this is like the perfect time to send eco i don't need lightning bolt yet it's only round seven but apparently i really wanted that lightning bolt because there we go i upgraded the lightning bolt sure sure send eco but Again, I'm commenting this after I actually recorded it, so I can't change it now. This guy gets Blue Jitsu, which is interesting, because on round 10, you can send leads, and now he just put down an apprentice. But the weird thing was, he spent so much money on that Blue Jitsu that that apprentice is going to take him a while to get Lightning Bolt. So if I really wanted to, I could probably just spam Regrow Red leads and beat him. Be but I'm... And maybe you'd have to, like, sell the Bunjitsu or something and just get, like, a normal double shot and use the rest of the money to upgrade the apprentice. I don't know. He's sending me pinks. And I think it, I think he was just trying to send me eco. And now he's sending me whites. I was starting to wonder, is he trying to send me whites to get his eco? Or is he trying to beat me? But I think it was just eco because he stops. But now he's sending me zebras. This is where I go. Okay, he's not trying to go late game. He's trying to rush me. He's sending me zebras. You don't send zebras to get eco. He's trying to beat me. So what I'm doing here is I'm just waiting a tiny bit more time until I can get some Boon Jitsu. There we go. That's going to help out a ton. Because that just pops Boons like crazy. Now I'm going to go up to this guy, and I believe I'm going to get Flash Bomb on this guy. Because Flash Bomb is really overpowered, especially with Boon Jitsu. Because not only can it now pop Camo Leds, but it can also it also stuns the Boons for about one and a half seconds. And while they're stunned, the Boon Jitsu can pop them. And it's just like the, ep the deadly duo to the Boons. So here we go. Got 2-2. Two, two. I think I'm going to get Flash Bomb because that'd be pretty weird to get two Boon Jitsus already. I'm just sending some greens just to get Eco up. This guy is, I'm not, this guy is clearly trying to rush me because he hasn't upgraded anything for like the last six or seven rounds. He is having real trouble here when he gets these zebras. Somehow he's fending them off. I think it's just this Boon Jitsu. I'm telling you, if I send him regrow leads, he'd be done. He would be absolutely done. So he's getting some camos now. He can pop them pretty easily with that Boon Jitsu. The only weird thing is... He cannot pop camo leads. He can't pop camo leads. Because the because the ninja can't pop leads and the apprentice can't pop camo. Because he still hasn't upgraded his apprentice. Because if he had, you wouldn't be able to see his eyes and the hat would go over his eyes. And that's how you can tell if they have monkey sense or not. And monkey sense makes you be able to actually get the make them pop camo. But now he gets dragon's breath. Dragon's Breath is very powerful, so that's what he was saving up for. Now I'm not quite sure. Was he trying to rush me there? Or was he or does this guy not really know what he's doing and thinking Zebras gets eco because now he's just getting a dragon's breath. And then he gets a tax shooter. Which I'm like, hmm, tax shooter. That's a pretty ugly tower, especially to get round nineteen. He's probably gonna get Ring of Fire. If you look over on my side, he's sending me leads. Which makes me start to think, this guy's probably going to rush me. Now he's sending me zebras. A ton of zebras. So I get the flash bomb real quick. So I can stun the balloons. The apprentice is going crazy with that lightning bolt. The flash bomb is stunning things. Boon Jitsu is, Boon Jitsu is destroying the balloons. I'm sending him greens, which is giving him no trouble. 
between the Blue Jitsu and the Dragon's Breath. And now you see the game sends us rainbows. So now, as you can see, I'm getting an engineer. I'm going to try to get Bloom Trap on this guy sometime soon. Well, on round 21, if he wanted to send me fast, no weight MOABs, he could have done it already. So clearly he's not going to rush me with MOABs, at least not yet. Because if you wanted to beat me quick and early, he would have done it at round 20. I'm trying to get a 4-2 a four two, four two engineer here. I believe I'm going to get the larger service area when I notice that I have enough money to do it. I actually got the... Yeah, I got that. And then, now I remember, I'm going to get one with cleansing foam. And then, I think I might get the boon drop, or I might save it for later, I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to get another engineer. But the second one, I'm going to get sprockets on. Because I think that's pretty cool, because it makes the it makes the sentries fire a lot faster. This guy did upgrade the ring of fire. Now he has another tax shooter. Clearly going to get a second ring of fire. We're both doing pretty well, even though he's his are going to the bend down there. His are going to the bend down there. <coughs> but not like mine weren't coming probably close. They were earlier, at least. He hasn't sent me any boons, but to be honest, he hasn't sent me eco either. He just upgraded to a second ring of fire. My cleansing foam is going crazy, putting down a ton of soap everywhere. I believe I'm going to get Boon Trap here. I've been saving up for it. There we go. There goes the Boon Trap. Great spot. Gets him right in the beginning. Now I'm going to get a second engineer, but this one I'm going to get Sprockets on, which makes the sentries, and I think him, but I'm not 100% sure, fire way faster. And it's not too bad. It's only, I think it's like $800 or $600. It's not that bad. He has his two ring of fires going crazy. He just loves fire. He has two ring of fires. He has a dragon's breath. Clearly, this guy loves fire. He's getting another apprentice. I'm starting to wonder, is he going to get a, another ring of fire here? I mean, not ring of fire, another dragon's breath? Because at round 25, what else do you do with an apprentice? And he clearly doesn't want, like, summon Phoenix, because he would have gotten it on the other apprentice. But he got another apprentice. Almost guaranteed going to get ring of fire here. We got some rainbows going in. And we they just filled up our trap, like, instantly gave us a lot of money. And he had a little bit of trouble, but he's doing better now. It looks like if he hadn't gotten that dragon's breath, he would have been in a lot of trouble. But he got it just in time. Here we go. Now the game is sending us regrow rainbows. But not, not too many. Not too many. Which is a good thing. Flash bomb going crazy. Now I just upgraded it to sabotage supply lines. Which is you don't know what that does. It makes all the boons that are on the screen and all the boons that are coming be slowed to half speed with it for 15 seconds now you can see the game is sending me tons of regrow rainbows it's the game i boosted doing fine now that i boosted and here we go putting down another apprentice let's see what i'm going to do on this guy I, as you can see i haven't been building my eco that much which is interesting i'm trying to go late game i'm not sure what i'm doing in terms of my eco i don't even have 450 dollars yet i'm sending some greens now here come the two moabs of round 27 and apparently it's actually three moabs so here we go the moabs are coming also got some camos there but i have no trouble with that i boost because that those two moabs are turning the corner and there we go destroyed them but again we had to use a boost Luckily, this is not Battle of Venus, and this is actually the, this is just the assault, so I can actually use the energy, so I can do it as many times as I want, I just have to wait the recharge time. Some more boons going by, we got some ceramics from the game, this guy hasn't sent me any boons, but he hasn't sent me any eco either, he has not sent a single piece of eco for probably like 15 rounds, I don't understand. Got another MWAB coming in, I used the sabotage to slow it down to half speed. Now I just got Dragon's Breath on that Apprentice, which is definitely going to help out. But this guy has two Dragon's Breath. He has three Ring of Fires. He just loves fires, like I said. Now he's getting a Super Monkey, which definitely makes me think this guy's trying to go late game. He's not trying to beat me. Here we go. We got two more MOBs coming in strong. We got some more wounds that my Dragon's Breath is just absolutely destroying with his amazing Dragon's Breath, just as the upgrade, upgrade suggests. Here we go. 
We got a lot of balloons going in, and as you can see, a lot of them have a decal on them. He's trying to beat me with balloons again. Unless that was Eco, but I'm pretty sure that was not Eco. Just defending this, coming so close to getting into that balloon trap. And here we go. Just making it. And now you see we got zebras coming in on the final turn. And we got two, and we got three, four MOABs coming in. Five MOABs. We got a ton of MOABs. We got regrow stuff. He's sending me stuff. Game sending me stuff. Don't really have much of a chance here. As you can see, he's actually doing very well. Surprisingly. But I am done. So I lost twice. Pretty disappointing video. But it was definitely very suspenseful and very enjoyable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time for another video, whether it be Boons TD Battles, Math Video, Minecraft Video, or whatever. You never know. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.